Let's open up iMovie. That's going to be the purple star. It's not in your toolbar. You're going to have to go to Finder, Applications, and then iMovie. So find that and open it up. Now to add sound to your video, you are going to go ahead and press Create New. Go ahead and do New Movie. And then it will open up to a blank area that you can create into. So now you will probably have um, this window here that says Import Media. That is where you're going to put your video file. So go to Finder. Find your animation that you just did. Drag it into here. And now you're ready to go. Now obviously my video is not done. Um, I only have that one little face, but I didn't have time to finish it, um, and I wanted you guys to be able to do this. So then what you do is you drag this into here, okay? And this is where you can make all of the edits. Um, so some of you guys had questions about how to edit and trim a video. I will show you that in a second video here in a minute. Okay, so to add sound to this, I know some of you guys recorded this, or added sound while you were trying to do it, but there's so much background noise with you guys. So like this one's mine. And you can hear the sound from the background and it's just me in the room. So you guys have a lot of background noise. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you are going to make sure this is selected, right click or um, control click, and go to detach audio. So now the audio is a separate thing. So if I then you highlight this and then press delete, if I go back to do this, there's going to be no sound. No sound is going to happen because you've just deleted it. So you are going to create your own sound, and this is super, super easy to do. All you do is, depending on what area, so obviously your sound is going to change depending on what is happening to your object. So the sound recording lives up here in what looks like this little speaker. Looks like a, I don't know. if it'll let me click it. It's the volume tab here, okay? And so what you can do is you can edit the sound there, but this is gonna be the record button here, this little microphone down here, and all you do is you press that, okay, there we go. You press that and where you want the sound to go, you just move this toolbar over here and record your sound. So when you're ready to record, press the record button and let's say whatever my object is doing. There's the countdown. Ah, then stop. Now it only goes to that point. Now you can move this audio around where you need it to go. So don't worry about matching it up so much, okay? So let's say I want a different sound. I'm just going to come back here, record again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's another sound. Now you can play with these like crazy. Watch how this will overlap. When you're done, just press done. Ah, that's, oh my gosh. Okay, so you can do lots of things here. You can play with the, the levels and the sound in here. If you want one of them to be quieter than the other, just play around with those tools. Um, so you can also split some of these up a little bit too, that they, um, so just, just play around with the sound and um, should be super easy to do. When you are done, go ahead and um, when you've added in the sound for this, to upload this into Google Classroom, you're going to go up here to the share arrow and you are going to save the file. You can upload it to YouTube if you want, but let's not bother with that. Go ahead, just file here. It might take a few minutes. Name it something. Object animation and call it good. 
should go super, super fast. And then you upload this video file in Google Classroom. And don't forget to update your digital portfolio.